three years ago, I made this channel because I wanted to vent about my struggles with body dysmorphia and with um, being unattractive. And recently I've been kind of going back and forth on some of the statements that I've made um, and some of the beliefs that I hold and have held for a while. So, I, you guys know that I'm very militant about lookism and how I feel about people treating other people badly because of the way that they look. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it's really, really easy to forget where everything started and what has happened to you when you're not in that era of your life anymore. Um, when I was going through all of the, the workplace bullying and the, just, just all of, all of the triggering and terrible things that I was going through at that time, I almost can't remember it now. Um, so I feel like my brain has been kind of shifting a little bit recently, um, in that instead of, you know, remembering things accurately, I'm kind of glossing over them, like Let's say um, I was like outwardly bullied for my appearance about something. Um, usually it was for my teeth, right? Um, so in my mind, like I'll remember that that happened, but I'll kind of like rewrite the story because I, I don't remember the specifics of what happened anymore because like my brain is trying to push them out so that I don't feel bad anymore. Um, I basically am just glossing over it like, oh, maybe it was a misunderstanding, maybe like, maybe the people that were bullying you didn't realize they were bullying you, but it's like, when someone is, is, is trying to be mean to you, even if you have like, you know, you're not quick to pick up on it, eventually you're going to notice that they're treating you differently than other people. Um, sometimes I forget that things were bad. And I'm not just saying like mentally they were bad, but When I first started this channel, I was going through a lot and I don't ever want to forget the way that I was treated and the way that I felt because I feel like if I forget that stuff, then I'm going to forget why I care about lookism in the first place. Um, and even though like at my job, I don't get bullied. Um, and I actually have friends and I, you know, I go out and I do things now. I don't, I don't wanna ever forget how I felt when I didn't have those things and I didn't have people in my life that would build me up. And I'm still, in a place where I'm like stuck wondering, sorry, my cat's like, my baby. 
I always feel like I'm in a place where I'm like, did that actually happen? Was I, was I actually like bullied? Was I, was it really that bad? Like, did it really affect me? And it's like, clearly it did, you know, clearly, clearly I've been shit on for the way that I've looked since, you know, I was younger, but it's like, I don't know if this is just like a part of like recovering from that kind of like traumatic stuff. Um, but I genuinely just don't, I don't want to forget what happened, even though I want to move past it. Because sometimes I feel like maybe what happened to me wasn't that bad. Maybe it was just, you know, people joking around and it's like, it's like, no, they you know, through things, I mean, it, it's a lot more than just how I feel about it right now. I have to remember that how I feel about it right now, it's not fresh in my mind anymore. And I've gotten used to it. Um, I, I've not necessarily gotten used to it, but I've, um, compartmentalized it I, I've tucked it away in my brain I've, I've said to myself like this isn't your life anymore you can forget about it but at the back of my mind when I'm talking to people I don't know if this is a good or bad thing but I always think about like what would how would they treat me if you know, I was me from three, four, five years ago. Would they treat me the same? Would they treat me worse because they find me unattractive? Would they treat me better because they pity me? Like, it's always at the back of my mind because once you've experienced people treating you badly for things that you cannot control, you start to get paranoid. Um, and you start to think that, you know, people only value you if you have something to offer. And if you're unattractive or if you, I, I guess, are neurodivergent, um, they are less likely to want to engage, in you, engage with you um, socially. I don't know. I just... I'm finding it really hard to deeply connect with people recently because I want to hold on to the belief that people can be very shallow. But it's kind of hard to hold that belief and also live my life because if I continue believing that people are shallow and that they're going to hurt me and if I continue thinking about the things that were the, that happened to me a long time ago how am I going to move forward how am I going to how am I going to figure out what is next in my life if I if I can't stop thinking about getting hurt again and I had a friend recently um, he pretty much told me that I was like a sick individual <laughs> which it's it's very very true um, and by sick he meant like severely mentally ill um, The reason that he said that was because we were having a conversation about dating and I like nonchalantly just brought up like, oh yeah, you know, people will do anything for sex and they'll do, do anything for like, um, just, I don't know, to get someone, um, 
and <laughs> my friend kind of got upset at that because they were like that's very generalizing and I don't know why you're thinking like that because like clearly not everyone works that way I mean I, I mean I know a few people where they don't necessarily even care about that stuff but I've noticed that my my thoughts that I've had since the beginning are like kind of coming back up and I'm having to either <sighs> I'm having to either like dig my feet into the ground and say I believe this or I'm having to say maybe I'm wrong maybe people aren't out to get me maybe people aren't shallow maybe people aren't all terrible but it's like it's a really hard thing because <laughs> growing up unattractive and being unattractive for still considering myself unattractive for the most part but um being mistreated is gonna make you feel really negative feelings towards people um not even just towards the people that you know actively hurt you but the people that didn't stop it and the people that um just tell you that you know it never happened um so it's like you know when my friend said something about like oh that's not how people are of course i got defensive and i was like i know people <laughs> i've met everyone i know everyone i know people i know how they are i know i know what they do you know i i know all this stuff and i'm just like thinking in my mind like do I? What portion of the population have I really interacted with? Like is it a you met one, you met them all type situation? Or is it a I just don't know what I'm missing out on because I've only seen like the smallest, tiniest portion of the world in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky? Um My experience this year has been totally different from what I'm used to. And my self-esteem is shot, right? It's bad, it's terrible. But it's just interesting to see people with such a positive perspective on life when when maybe in my mind they would be struggling from the things that I'm also struggling from. Like in my mind, I would for some reason assume that they would also struggle with like body issues and things like that, but it's like, no. They just genuinely love themselves and they genuinely can love other people which is something that I clearly have to work on. <laughs> um, I have a lot of biases against people and um, I know that I need to work on them. But it's, it's one of those, I say that a lot, don't I? It's one of those things. I guess I'll stop saying that. But my brain works a certain way. I have these beliefs in my head. They're not going to change unless I replace the thought or substitute in a new thought. So there's this thing in um, CBT, right? It's basically like not necessarily changing the thought, but providing like an alternative thought, right? So if you say, I'm ugly, you could say, instead of I'm ugly, you could say, well, I know that there are people who have found me attractive, you know? Um, so it's possible that I'm not unattractive. You could do that. I mean, there are like plenty of different thoughts that you could say that are like an alternative thought to like, I'm ugly. So my thoughts are always in black and white. I have 
people are shallow, people are evil, people are vain, people are, people are gonna hurt me, people are going to do all these bad things when it's like, I don't know most people. I've never met most people. I've interacted with people on the internet, but people on the internet are people on the internet. <laughs> um, how people act and how they feel in real life also matters. And I definitely don't take that into account as much as I should because the interactions that I've had with people recently have not really aligned with my beliefs about them. It's, it's kind of overwhelming because everything that I'm like thinking and, and everything that I'm assuming like, oh, this person won't like me because I'm ugly. It's like, it's like, wake up. I think they, they might like you. It's like, oh, you know, that person, um, must have self-esteem issues. Like they, I hope they don't get bullied or whatever. And it's like, that's my, that's my prejudice. That's my assumption that they're having trouble when they're perfectly fine. And it's kind of just shattering my worldview because I'm like, where, where's all this, the stuff that I experienced a few years ago? I guess I'm just kind of coming to terms with the fact that I was so scared for three, four, five, six years of my life to leave my room and I'm almost 24 and I wasted so much time thinking that I knew people when I really didn't. I don't know anything about people. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I don't know anything about people. And that's really the only thing that I can say at this point. I mean Personally, I feel like that's a pretty good alternative thought. Like, I don't know their motives. Like, um, I, <laughs> I just jump into things thinking that I know because of my limited experience with the world. And it, it's been proving me wrong recently. And it's really... It's a very weird feeling to be very wrong about something when you're so confident about being right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this video is running kind of long, so I'm probably going to wrap it up for now. Um, I know I kind of rambled at the beginning. I've been a little bit nervous making videos recently because I feel like I haven't really stayed like on one topic and when I'm like transitioning from topic to topic I get a little bit nervous and anxious and I'm like oh how am I gonna transition but I'm just talking right now and I saw a comment the other day that was like oh I miss I miss the old crooked lady videos where she's just talking and I'm like I kind of miss those too because I genuinely was just giving you everything. I was <laughs> I was genuinely giving you all my heart and soul in those videos and I feel like this is definitely me being most honest that I've been at the very least about how I feel about people now um, that I've been in a while. <laughs> But yeah, so this video is running really long. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And um, if you have any video recommendations, you can um, give them to me down below or you can message me on Instagram. I will put the link in my description. Thank you for watching. Bye.